Hello guys, this is Raj Shivara back on YouTube and you are on the channel Learn Anything where we always learn something new every day. Well, I'm sorry guys, in the last two days I didn't upload any video because uh, I, there was some uh, test of mine which was going on. But the, those are over and uh, now I'm free for my YouTube, okay? So let's get start. Well, before the leap, I was talking about Pillow, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually download and install the Pillow of, on your computer and install it on your Python. Well, there are three ways to uh, install Pillow on your uh, system. Well, if you have already downloaded and installed Pi or the GUI, uh, the module that I have uh, discussed in my previous videos, then you don't have to install Python image library that is PIL or Pillow, which is an an uh, better version of PIL. Then you don't have to install them uh, because uh, the P Python or the Python image library or the Pillow module used to bundle with the Py Auto GUI module and that uh, comes or downloads or installs along with the Py Auto GUI on our system. Okay, so if you don't have Py Auto GUI already, then in this video I'm gonna show you how you can uh, install Pillow on your computer. So there are three ways. Well, first of all, the previous traditional typical method you just have to go on your a python 27 folder then on the scripts folder then here you have to um press shift plus right click and it will open a menu where you can see open command window here option click on it remember that the path of the scripts folder is uh, uh python 27 scripts okay in Python 27 folder you will get your scripts folder and there you have to do it so after opening the command window at that point then you just have to type um, pip uh, install pillow ok once you did this you just have to press enter well I have already downloaded and installed pi auto gui that will that's why it will say i think uh, uh, the requirements are already satisfied okay this line should become at, at here okay guys you can see that here it is written requirements already satisfied below in c colon python 27 lib set packages Requirements already satisfied. OLE file in C1 and Python 27 LIB set packages. Okay, because I have already in, uh, installed it by using Py Auto GUI, so I don't have to install it again. Okay, so if you have not installed Py Auto GUI or you don't have Pillow a model in your system, then you can just uh, you just have to enter this command pip install Py Auto GUI. Okay, no, sorry, pip install Pillow. Okay. And then you just have to press enter. Now suppose that you have uh, a version of Python 3.x, that means 3.0 or greater. Then what you will do? Obviously, guys, this command will not work there because it is for 2.7.x series. So for 3.x series, there is another command. You just have to type pi. Then the version of your Python, let's say 4.6. Oh, that is not existing this time. Let's say 3.5, okay, and then you just have to write m after hyphen, okay, pi. Oh, sorry, guys, you just have to write pi and then space, then hyphen, then uh, the version of your uh, version of your Python. So, let's say 3.4, okay, now then. Uh, you just have to type a hyphen and then m and then you have to write pip install pillow ok guys because the uh, commands are actually different for uh, 3.x series and 2.7.x series ok 
so this is how you can download and install by using command prompt okay this is the typical this is the traditional way uh, by using pip you can download and install the files okay now suppose that um, you don't want to do this no you don't want to do it okay now what you will do is you will just go to the chrome you can use any browser actually i'm using chrome because i like it okay so now in chrome you just have to type um wait a minute guys you just have to type on uh, download pillow or pil you can also write pil or pillow i will write pillow and uh, then you can write python okay now once you do this you just have to press enter and once you press the enter you will get a page so let's do this it really takes time okay so here you can see that you got a page in which written uh, pillow 2.7.0 python index and that's all so you just have to go on pillow p by p i python okay go here Well, this is the official website for Python package index. P by P I means Python package index. Okay. Now you can see that here you get Pillow 4.0 version, and then Pillow 4.0 version, then Pillow 1.7.8 version. Now you can download any of um, these modules. Okay. You can download any of these modules. Now, once you download them, let's say I click on 1.7.8. Okay. Now, once you click on them, you just have to uh, press this download button. Once you download, once you press this download button, your download will start automatically. Well, no, it will not start automatically. Okay. Here you are getting um. What do you used to say? Uh, options right options you are getting options that oh, which version which version of python you want to download it now once you selected select your version like say py27 py2.7 win am you know py2.7 win 32 yes since my uh, computer is 32 bit so i will go with 32 bit if your computer is 64 bit then you, you should go with amd64 okay now you just have to click on this on your uh, on the version of your choice okay once you click on it um it will start downloading okay you can see that it is actually downloading uh, on the chrome icon you can see that 50 percent um is downloaded and here you can see that uh, 802 kb is downloaded of this okay now let's open it in folder okay guys you can see that this is the file okay now you just have to um cut it from here oh sorry guys
okay you just have to select it and then cut it so in the um script folder in the script folder in uh, python design folder just paste that uh, module paste that module and uh, Um, let's try it again. Now let's paste it. Okay, here you can see this file. Well, the system is slow. That's why it took too long. Now the what you have to do is the typical method. We just have to write pip install. And the name of the file um, pillow hyphen uh, one point seven point eight one point seven point eight and then pad one is seven five two point seven then win thirty two dot egg Win32 dot e g g and you have you also have to get the extension right so this is the name and now the time is for extension so the extension is dot g g g okay we have to add dot g g g two times e g g okay now once you do this you just have to click on wait a second guys. You also have to give here space. Okay. Now once you do this, you just have to click on enter, and that's it. Your um, your model will be installed. Okay, from this package. But now you also don't want to do this. You have PyCharm IDE. Okay. What you will do? Uh, if you see guys, it's a lot easy than this all uh, stuff to download and install the Py uh, pillow on PyCharm. So what you can do is you just have to open the pie charm. Now once you opened it, um, you have to go on file. Now well the system is really slow actually. So guys, let's try it again. Click on file, okay now you just have to go on uh, settings okay so go on settings now once you go on settings it will open a dialog box so this is the box okay now in this box you just have to um, click on the project name whatever is the project name uh, you have so click on your project name now then, then click on project interpreter okay now once you click on it it will um, show a new window here only okay so now here you will see all the python versions you already have installed okay so you first of all you have to let it load and then only you can uh, install a new version so here you go this is the list of the python modules or packages that we have already installed okay now here you can see that uh, I am having pillow module because I have already installed it and it was bundled with PyOrder GUI so I don't have to install it again. 
so what you have to do is now you just have to click on this plus icon this plus green icon okay now once you click on it um well the system is really slow i think it just got a virus well now once you click on this green button you will get a list and remember that, that you have to connect it to the internet okay for that list now you here you can uh, type pillow once you type the type the pillow you can see here um pillow fight pimpy pillow pillow top pillow case pillow pop pillow fluff um uh, pillow 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 okay you just have to click on pillow p i l okay and then once you click on it you can uh, click on the install package once you click on it it will start downloading our package and it will install it automatically if you don't have, you will not have to do anything okay so i have shown you that how you can download it or install it on the pycharm or with the help of um previously made package uh, which we will down which we can download from the internet or with the help of pip you just have to uh, type the command and it will directly download and install the whole package on your computer so once you do this you are all set to go with a pile with a pillow okay i was calling it pillow <laughs> that was funny okay so uh, in this video i have sh shown you that how you can download and install the pillow and we will start our pillow codes and uh, stuff we can do with the pillow in from the next video and uh, uh, from now i will be consistent because uh, in the last two days i have some tests and for that and to prepare them i was not uh, uh, i didn't upload it any video but now i will be consistent because i am free now okay so let's close it all close it all close it all we don't need this oh and here you can see that which process is going on installing pillow package and i will just cancel it because i have already installed it okay and remember guys that patcha may or may not uh, prompt you that you already installed it okay just like the pip and like the pip okay you <laughs> not just like the pip and like the pip okay so so that's all for this video and if you have any questions regarding the installation of pillow from pycharm from the package uh, installed from the net or from or with the help of pip then you can just post them in the comment box guys because i am willing to answer each and every question and uh, you will get reply definitely in 24 hours okay so because now i'm consistent and i will be there for your help and uh, if you have any suggestions then please post them comments in the comment box so that i can uh, take them and i can use them in my video so that you will get a better video and uh, and if you have any kind of uh, problem regarding any uh, pillow or any python uh, problem then you can also post that thing in the comment box and i will definitely try to solve that problem i will try my best to solve that problem guys and uh, and in the next video i will tell you how to use pillow and i will go through some codes some really basic codes and uh, that's all that this is all about next video not this video okay so we don't have to sit down on video anymore okay so if you have any questions or if you have any suggestion then just comment them in the comment box guys because uh, i will definitely reply you guys so that uh, you will get the answer of your questions and uh, i really appreciate your suggestions because they really makes my videos better and uh, they really makes me better and uh, they really up, uh, motivates me to make more good content and more quality videos and they really motivates me that to take something new from world and put on my channel so to the next video goodbye and don't forget to subscribe guys because i need your support so please 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 subscribe guys and till the next video goodbye if you like my video then give it a dislike or if you don't like my video then you can also give it a dislike but, but i hope that you like my videos because i always hope this <laughs> okay so goodbye till the next video and don't forget to subscribe bye